Hey guys, how are you? It's a pleasure to connect with all of you. And on today's video, we're going to talk about how to create quality content for your Instagram that engages with your community. And if you want to see more videos like this, focus on personal branding and content creation tips. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button and you're going to see me here every Tuesday. So who am I? My name is Karina Valmonte. I'm a video producer and content creator. And on this channel, we focus on delivering personal branding and content creation tips for entrepreneurs, creators, and side hustlers that want to take their personal brand to the next level. And before we begin, I want to thank this amazing community for their wonderful support. So now let's begin. Okay guys, so as I was saying, I want to help you out with creating the quality content of your Instagram and engaging with your community. I want to take you through five tips that have really helped me out with this and I want to share them with you. First of all, I want to say that there's no perfect system, there's just investigation, consistency and applying them as you can. So let's go with the first tip. The first tip is you have to understand your brand's value, which means if you understand this, what your brand stands for, your production of your content will be much easier. You won't be wondering every day, every month, every week what to share because you already know it. For example, if you're a video producer behind the scenes uh, for entrepreneurs, you already know what you're going to produce, what you're going to create it for, you already know what to deliver. And when someone goes to your feed, they immediately know what you stand for and what value you're going to share with them. Let's go with tip number two. Tip number two focuses more on Instagram stories, which is attention. You have to create attention to towards your audience. And you can create this by asking them questions, putting polls, quizzes, captions of what your story is about. Create that attention so your community, so your audience, so your future clients engage with you in every story. Let's go with tip number three, interest. You have to create interest in your posts, which means when you create a post and suddenly this post goes shareable and is saved, you gotta see why is it saved, why is it shareable, what questions are they asking, what are they curious about, so you can deliver more posts similar to that or deliver something that is from those questions that they asked. So be interested in them, in your audience, in the questions. Pay attention to what they're asking you. Let's go with tip number four. Tip number four is you gotta really pay attention to the quality of your pictures and the quality of your videos, which means if you are selling your products, if you are a pastry chef, if you are someone that creates cocktail, you need to deliver it and present it in a beautiful and great way. If you have the budget, if you are someone that can uh, hire a photographer or a videographer to do this for you, great. So when people see their, your feed, they can see it and say, wow, she does great cocktails and presents them in a beautiful way, or does great pastries and presents them beautifully, or has purses and they're beautiful and they can see how your products are presented. If you don't have the budget, you can just be go to Pinterest, get inspired and practice. For example, in my case, my clients hire me to present their products for their feed or for the website so it looks good because I have studied this and I know how to present them so it can look good. But it all depends on your budget, it all depends on what you're looking for. But remember, the quality of your image, it really matters. So let's go with tip number five. You need to to really, really, really understand and give awareness to all of this. That is tip number five. It basically is give awareness to everything, understand all the steps and engage, which is there's something amazing that Instagram has is called a DM. And you can DM your future clients, you can DM for collaborations, you can DM just your followers and ask them what have they liked about your content? What else are they looking for? How can you help them? Send them a voice notes, do a video chat, whichever, but take awareness of everything that I have told you and send them something, a DM, a, if you have the need, if you have the budget, send them a gift card, send them a nice note, send them something because this is not only engagement for you, it's engagement for the 
fact that they have been together with you. And well, guys, these were the five tips that I wanted to deliver to all of you. And as I said, pay attention to your audience, pay attention to what you're saying. And please remember, these are five tips you're going to apply eventually, and you have to take them step by step. Don't worry if you're not nailing them down on the first day. It takes time, patience, and consistency, but you can do it. You can make it happen. Remember, believe in yourself. You can do this. It just takes time. So thank you so much. Let's go to the question. So a lot of people ask me, how can I be up to date with what to post every day? I will recommend set up a content calendar. I then can help you with that in another video. Thank you so much for joining me on this new video. It means the world to me. And if you want to see more on personal branding tips, content creation tips, and design tips, all you got to do is hit the link below and you're going to receive the free all in guide just by signing up. Also want to thank you so much for being right here, for being part of my community. And if you like this video, give it that like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see each other next Tuesday. Thank you so much, guys.